We're going to begin with the new efforts to help families that are hit by America's shortage of baby formula. It's a very big club, as you know. While the country's largest supplier, Abbott, imports millions of cans to make up for the shutdown of its Michigan plant, President Biden has taken the rare step of invoking the Defense Production Act to boost domestic supplies. Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill, where the FDA commissioner is testifying later today on overcoming these shortages. A lot of very angry and concerned parents. Nicole, good morning to you. Yeah, that's right. Good morning to you, Gail. And in his prepared remarks, FDA Commissioner Dr. Robert Califf says that he is acutely concerned about the availability and safety of baby formula, but that may not be enough to satisfy lawmakers who want to know how we got to this point. I know parents all across the country are worried about finding enough infant formula to feed their babies. President Biden parent, says he's directing his administration to do everything possible to address the national baby formula shortage. He will invoke the Defense Production Act to ensure manufacturers have the necessary ingredients to make safe infant formula. The emergency action allows the president to direct companies to prioritize orders for the federal government, which has only been used about a dozen times in the last two decades, mostly during the pandemic. The president is also launching Operation Fly Formula to import more product from overseas to speed up delivery. We know where the product is, and we know we do not have enough. The bill is passed. House lawmakers approved two bills Wednesday night. One would provide $28 million to the Food and Drug Administration to prevent future formula shortages. This bill just continues the Democrats' strategy of throwing money at the same bureaucrats who caused the crisis. The other loosens restrictions for families in the Women, Infants, and Children Nutrition Program. I want to say to the moms struggling that we hear you. Connecticut's Johanna Hayes received WIC benefits as a teenage mom and sponsored the measure. I know what it means to run out of milk in the middle of the month, but many of these families, they had their WIC benefits but couldn't even um, use them at the store because the options that were available to them were off the shelves. About half of the formula purchased nationwide is through the WIC program, which is why having more options could be critical for these families. Both of these bills now head to the Senate. As for the FDA commissioner, he will face Congress again next week, along with executives from some of the major formula manufacturers. Nate? To the parents of infants, just hold on. Formula has come in soon. Nicole, thank you.